I'm Christina Martin. I am a senior on the cross country track and field team. Hi, I'm Kim Feline, and I am a senior on the women's swimming dive team. And this is 10 Questions Swift. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? <laughs> I've been living off of pasta for the past like week, so probably that. <laughs> it's um, so depressing. Yeah, either pasta or um, oats. You can do a lot with the oats. In your opinion, does pineapple belong on pizza? If yes, why? If no, what are your favorite toppings? I am a firm. Um, believer in pineapple being on pizza. I love it. <laughs> oh, see, I've never tried pineapple on pizza, but like, I think it complements what, like, not the classic Hawaiian, but like, if you do like pineapple and bacon, I mean, like, different versions <laughs> obviously, but um, the sweet and salty just complement each other. Well, I've never tried pineapple on pizza, so I'd probably say no. I like pineapple though. <laughs> and what's your favorite toppings? Um, I would do say, mushrooms, spinach, and olives, and no cheese. <laughs> Which favorite toppings? I like pineapple and bacon. Oh, Those are probably my favorite, yeah. Uh -huh. um, when you were deciding on a college to attend, what made you decide to attend Keene State? <laughs> um, I was deciding between two schools, actually, Keene and Eastern Connecticut, and I really like the um, but I really like the, the town that's around Keene and how just if you go like a little bit out um, beyond the town, there's like great options for like hiking. Like um, there's great trails around here. I'm sure you could probably oh, speak yeah. more on that one. A hundred percent. So I came to Keene um, because of the education program here and the trails. There's so many trail options like in Yale Forest, on the rail trail. Just like going out and back is nice, but mm -hmm. overall the community. Oh, what is one thing that nobody knows about the sport you play? <laughs> well, we talked about this question. <laughs> so for cross country, I think it would be, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory you run, but a lot of people are um, confused on like the distance. So it's a 5K, so 3.1 miles, or it's a 6K um, in like some meets. Mm -hmm. um, for swim, I mean, we're not one, one big one. You do sweat in the water. That's a big one. Like I sweat a lot for sure. But um, also the the counting the laps. I know I'm a distance swimmer, so I always get the how long is the, one one lap is literally just one. That's that's one lap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not back and forth. If you were stranded on a deserted island and could only bring one teammate, who would it be and why? Okay, so I did think about this question. If I, am I allowed to give like a few answers? Cause like, okay, awesome. So I probably would not survive um, if it was by myself. <laughs> I really couldn't. So honestly, if I wanted to have a good time, I'd probably bring either like Hannah or Kara. Cause I feel like we wouldn't survive. We would just be alive, having fun together. If I wanted to, I feel like I would bring Robbie because he's a great cook. Um, I feel like he has like survival skills. <laughs> or yeah, I feel like that. I feel like that would be my options. <laughs> um, I would bring Kristen Simino. Uh, <laughs> we would probably just mess around a lot, like not really be productive, and then. I don't know. I just, I just love. Hard. I just love Kristen Cinema. <laughs> What's your favorite TV or Netflix show? Um, I find myself <laughs> find myself watching the uh, Fireplace for Your Home, the Birchwood edition a lot. But I mean, like other than that, I really like Money Heist. That's a good show on Netflix. The the Fireplace is currently going. <laughs> but um, for me, it would probably be. Um, either Criminal Minds or Grey's Anatomy. And I would also have to say the, the Birchwood Fireplace Edition. It's a big hit in our, in our apartment here. It's constantly on pretty much always on. If you could play one other sport that is not the current sport you play, what would it be? Goodness. Um, I used to run cross country and track, so I'd probably do that if I wasn't swimming. <laughs> um, 
I played other sports growing up, but I, I was terrible at all of them. That's probably why I'm a sport at now. But maybe basketball? But like, I don't like the physical contact of it, so <laughs> kind of a little scary. <laughs> Probably by myself. <laughs> so, yeah, like basketball. Dribbling, the basketball. <laughs> Just like, like dribbling and shooting around. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> what is your dream job? Okay. Um. Well, like a third grade teacher is what I'm going in. Elementary education. So. Um. I mean, I'm with the. I'm. I'm a safety major here, and I'm lucky enough to like I got offered a job already right out of like once I graduate. Um, I don't, is that my dream job? Not really sure. I mean, I'm really happy to get something within the safety field. So I guess like anything within the safety field is like a dream job for me, but you know, it's not that exciting, but <laughs> it's super, super fun. If you could travel to any place in the world, where would you go and what would you do? Oh, yeah, I don't know where I'd go. This is a tough one. Okay. Oh, I want to go to Germany. I want to. I want to know. <laughs> I just want to see. What, I want to experience Germany. I don't know. It'd probably be like pretty basic, like California or something. Like I got family over there, so I probably just want to go there, hang out. You yeah. know, I don't know. Very simple. <laughs> too much about like Germany, but like you'll that, learn. Yeah, I'll learn. <laughs> I'll learn when I get there. there I don't, if I ever get to go there. <laughs> What is the one thing you are looking forward to this holiday season? Um, the food. Probably the food is a big one. Yeah, food, seeing family and everything. Um, I miss my sisters. <laughs> We're all the way at college and uh, we got to see each other for like a few days during Thanksgiving, but I'm very excited to see them for a little longer than like two or three days. <laughs> I'm excited to see my dog for also longer than oh, a couple pets. days. <laughs> pets for pets sure to see. Really